Dr. Phil, do I look like a security risk? I don't think so. And it all started because of this piece of luggage. Before we boarded, there was an announcement made that all the overhead bins had been filled and could people check their bags. I had my carry-on with me, which fits under the seat, and you can see here. So I felt that announcement did not pertain to me. Before I started even moving down the aisle, the flight attendant said, you can't come on board, you need to stow your luggage. I had told this flight attendant that the other flight attendants didn't have a problem with it. She said, well, I think it's too big. Then the flight attendant said, oh, that bag is a lot smaller than I thought it was. And I said, well, I think you owe me an apology. I never got an apology. The same flight attendant came over to our seat and in somewhat of a condescending tone, told me, Miss, my name is Tina, so you can tell my supervisor when you report me. I was flabbergasted, and I answered back, I'm Dr. Broteen, that's my name, and that's my preferred title. Shortly thereafter, a fairly large, burly man approaches our seat and says, ma'am, you need to follow me. And I was told I was a security risk for the flight. I was stunned. I had to retrieve our bags, the walk of shame type of thing, because all the passengers are looking at me as I'm doing this. So I think the flight attendant did abuse her authority. The flight attendant seems to always be correct. Just look at me. I don't think I could take anybody down as far as weight and height, I'm vertically challenged. So how am I a security risk? <laughs> you, you watch it, lady. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dr. Bob, I can how take are you down. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Good meeting you. Good meeting you. This is the bag, and they right. they told you that everything was full overhead, so you you had to check bags. And I understand they're talking about roll-on bags. This is a go under your seat bag, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. It's perfect under a seat, and there's actually additional room. Right. And Brent, the fact that the flight attendant is always right, yeah. you say is just not fair. Yeah, this was a situation where I wish you had been uh, in the seat in front of us. Somebody should have come and mediated this if, if need be. It didn't require uh, mm. a flight attendant to just have that uh, ability by herself. Another flight attendant could have come by. She could have uh, brought over the captain or co-pilot or somebody from the cockpit. But uh, her idea that she just didn't like us or didn't, uh, didn't want us on the plane was enough to get us thrown off. Do you think it triggered her when you said, address me, I'm, I'm a doctor, address me accordingly when she had been harsh with you? So you pushed back? I'm sure it probably bothered her. You, you weren't? No, I just said, challenging her. I'm a doctor and please address me as doctor. If you were a security risk, they deemed you a security risk. They called me a security risk. Then why would they say, take a later flight? I immediately asked, if I'm a security risk now, how will I not be a security risk 12 hours later? Well, yeah, that was, that was On the same point. airline. No response. Get off the plane, you need to deplane. And I was even told at that point, if I don't deplane, they will call police officers and have me arrested as a federal offense for delaying the takeoff of an airline. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.